Hi, hello, I am Kiran Kumar from Nature of Physics. Today's topic is self-induction and its applications. First, self-induction. For this, considering this is a coil which is connecting to the rheostat or H to the battery and with key. Key has closed and current from the battery positive terminal and RH is the rheostat which is useful to send the steady current or we can change the current increasing or decreasing the current with the help of rheostat and this is the coil okay so whenever the current carrying coil link with the magnetic flux EMF induced in the coil according to the Faraday first law then second law According to the Faraday second law, the induced EMF is equal to negative rate of change of magnetic flux. So phi is the magnetic flux. The self-induction, the phenomena of production of induced EMF in a coil due to change in flowing current in its own circuit is called self-induction. The phenomena of production of induced EMF in a coil due to change in flowing a current in its own coil. That is called self-induction. Whenever the current increases or decreases with the help of a rheostat, the current changing that producing magnetic field also changes. For example, this is the current carrying conductor. Okay. So when current passing through the conductor, according to the right hand thumb rule, what happen here? Magnetic field is produced in anti-clockwise direction. When current is increasing, then magnetic field increases. When current decreases, magnetic field is decreases. Like this, here also the magnetic lines produce like this. So this side act as a north and this side act as a south, like a bar magnet acting a coil the change in magnetic field due to change in current the emf induced in the coil emf induced nothing but there is a induced current so that the induced current is directly proportional to the change in magnetic flux so magnetic flux is directly proportional to the current when magnetic flux increases induced current increases see here n number of turns is there that's why n phi is directly proportional to the i so n phi which is equal to l i so here l is the coefficient of self induction coefficient of self induction coefficient of self induction so Continuation according to the Faraday second law according to the Faraday second law so that E is equal to minus D by DT of N phi actually phi but we have N number of turns that's why I am writing N phi so N phi is equal to what D by DT of Li so here since we can write n phi which is equal to l i so e which is equal to minus l d i by d t so e nothing but e m f electromotive force okay so already we did in previous videos so e is equal we got minus l d i by d t minus is opposite direction direction and we can write L which is equal to E divided by di by dt so it is defined as a ratio of L L is the coefficient of self induction defined as a ratio of induced EMF to the rate of flow of current rate of flow of current that is rate of current and SI units before going to that it is a scalar quantity it is a scalar quantity next 
SI units SI units Henry indicate a letter H or other units is Weber per ampere Weber per ampere okay so if I is equal to 1 ampere current and T is equal to 1 second so L is equal to E okay if 1 ampere current passing through the coil in 1 second time then coefficient of self induction which is equal to induced EMF next simply see first current is changing magnetic field change due to change in magnetic field EMF induced in the coil induced EMF produces induced current that's why here the flux is directly proportional to the current okay so this is the current current increases then magnetic field also increases so that's why directly relation taken n is the number of turns and l is the proportionality constant n phi is equal to li l is the coefficient of self induction and faraday's second law that is induced emf which is equal to minus d phi by dt so n phi i am writing here because of n number of turns n phi is li so l constant minus is opposite direction here l is the coefficient of self induction just a second next applications first application of the self induction this is the self induction of a flat circular coil o is the center and r is the radius capital n is the number of turns and i current from the battery positive turn when current is increasing and decreasing in a coil then magnetic field around the coil is changed then magnetic flux link with the same coil emf induced in the current that is induced current produces okay so then <coughs> n phi which is equal to li because of flux is directly proportional to the current and n phi which is equal to li L is the proportionality constant and that is taken as coefficient of self induction. Now Li which is equal to N phi, phi is equal to magnetic flux B bar dot to A bar. So flux which is equal to B A cos theta, theta is 0, cos 0 is equal to 1 because of B bar and A bar parallel. Okay, so B we have to find what is the b magnetic induction of this circular coil so magnetic induction of circular coil so b which is equal to mu naught ni by 2r magnetic induction due to the circular coil mu naught ni by 2r and area of the coil and area of coil a is equal to pi r square so basic formula phi l i which is equal to n phi so l i which is equal to n phi value is that is b a b value is mu naught n i by 2 r and area is pi r square r square r is get cancel current is get cancel so we got here l which is equal to mu naught n square n square pi into r divided by 2 so simply l is equal to pi mu naught n square r divided by 2 so this is the formula for the coefficient of self induction of the flat circular coil next solenoid self induction okay very simple first i took basic formula flux directly proportional to current n phi directly proportional to i l is the proportional constant 
here L i is equal to N phi. N is the number of turns. Flux formula in which magnetic induction of a coil and the area is replaced. We got this relation in which R R square is get cancelled. Current get cancelled. We got coefficient of self induction of a flat circular coil. Just a second. Now second application that is self induction of a solenoid. So here the flux link with the coil is change EMF is induced in the coil. So N phi which is equal to L i because of flux directly proportional to the current N phi directly proportional to i and L is the coefficient of self induction. Okay, so L i which is equal to N phi. Phi is the magnetic flux. So that is equal to B bar dot A bar. So B and A parallel and theta is 0, cos 0 is equal to 1. So we can write B A. Okay, so B is the magnetic induction of solenoid. B is magnetic induction of solenoid so b which is equal to mu naught n i and a is the area here a is the area okay and l is the length l is the length of the solenoid try to understand so then the values are replacing in this equation so l i which is equal to n so here small n is equal to capital n by l number of turns per unit length so capital n is equal to small n to l so capital n is the total number of turns and the small n is the number of turns per unit length so capital n which is equal to and L. Phi value is B A. Next step L I which is equal to N L. B value is mu naught N I into A. So I I current get cancelled. We will get here L which is equal to mu naught N into N N square A Okay, so next step also we can write that is L which is equal to mu naught here small n is equal to capital N n square by L square A L. So this and this L is get cancelled. Now the resultant equation is L which is equal to mu naught n square a divided by L. Okay, so one thing clearly we can understand just L i is equal to n phi, n is equal to small n into L, and phi is equal to B A. B is the magnetic induction of the solenoid, so mu naught n i. So here i i get cancelled, so we got the second equation this this is the first equation first in terms of small n and second in terms of capital n okay so the self induction of a coil depends on first dimensions the dimensions is directly proportional to the number of turns and directly proportional to the area and inversely proportional to the length so here we can write l directly proportional to the n L directly proportional to the area n square here and L inversely proportional to the length inversely proportional to the length and it is depend on the medium inside the solenoid so for example we can take any medium inside the solenoid so this is taken as medium so like dielectric medium Okay, so next nature of the material of the 
नेचर ऑफ द मेटीरियल ऑफ द कोर ऑफ ए सॉलिड एंड ऑलरेडी विद इट मेटीरियल नथिंग बट दट इज मीडियम एंड permeability increases then coefficient of self induction also increases mu increases then what happen here coefficient of self induction here also we can write one more thing and l directly proportional to the mu okay so we can write mu not next this inductor will have the large inductance and low resistance so what is that inductor will have large inductance and low resistance that's why the resistor opposes the current but inductor opposes the change of current change of current by the inductor resistor opposes the current these are the very important points about the inductor okay so just a second so this is completely about the self induction and two applications please like and subscribe my channel nature of physics see you so with another video that is mutual induction and also applications